Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, in today's video I will be showing you how to design food UI concept like these. So let's get started. I will be using the food image, vegetables, lock icon and search icon here and the color sample to make the design, you can use the color of your choice. From the top left hand side of the Photoshop, select new to create new artwork for our design. Width 1920 pixels. Height 1080 pixels. Resolution 300 pixels. Name the design according to your choice. And make it 16-bit document. Hit create to create the artwork. We are going to make shape like these for our design, just follow and do what I am doing. Hit P on your keyboard to select the pen tool and make a shape like these. From the layer panel make a new layer for the shape. Hold Alt and Backspace to fill in the selected color sample, which is green color, just like these. Hold Ctrl plus D on your keyboard to release the highlight on the shape background. We are going to make a RUI shape. Select the rectangle tool and right click on the background and from the pop out menu fill in the figure like these. Width 1700 pixels. Height 850 pixels. Hit create OK to create the rectangle shape. Change the color to white. Align the shape to the center of the design. And make the stroke of the shape 20 pixels. And from the shape property panel make the corner radius of the shape 80 pixels just as you see me do. Hide the shape so we can see the foreground background of the design just like these. Now we are going to drag in one of the vegetable to the shape and hit Ctrl plus T on Windows or Command plus T on Mac to transform the vegetable and drag from the corner to increase the size and make it fit to the perspectives of our design just like these. Also change the bled mode from normal to multiply, and make the opacity 15%. In the same way drag in the tomatoes to the shape and hit Ctrl plus T on Windows or Command plus T on Mac to transform the tomatoes and drag from the corner to resize it and make it fit to the perspectives of our design just like these. And also reduce to opacity to 10%. Also drag in the onion to shape and hit Ctrl plus T on Windows or Command plus T on Mac to transform the onion and drag from the corner to resize it and make it fit to the perspectives of our design just like these. And also reduce to opacity of the onion to 10%. Now make the UI shape visible just like these. Select all the vegetables in our shape background and group them and name it elements. It all depend on you I am just showing example. Now we are going to drag in the food and hit Ctrl plus T on Windows or Command plus T on Mac to transform the food and resize it and place it into perspectives just as you see in these video. Also drag in the leaf vegetable into the shape UI and resize it by hitting Ctrl plus T on Windows or Command plus T on Mac to transform it and place it into the right lower corner of the design. Duplicate the leaf two times and fix it to the left top and lower down corner of the UI shape just as you see me do. You can adjust the size if you like or just follow and do what you see me do in these video. Drag in the other vegetables, set them according to the design perspective using the methods we have been using, just as you see in these video, just keep in mind I am just showing you example. Drag in the green leaf and place it at the top right side of the UI design shape and hit Ctrl plus T on Windows or Command plus T on Mac to transform it and resize it and also rotate it to fit into the design perspectives. For these one we are going to make a clipping mask of the green leaf to align to our shape design just like these. 
Drag in the other vegetables, set them according to the design perspective using the methods we have been using, just as you see in these video. Just keep in mind I am just showing you example. I will skip this part so that I don't keep you waiting. Drag in the lock icon and the search icon and hit Ctrl plus T on Windows or Command plus T on Mac to transform it and resize them and place them on the top right hand side of the UI design perspectives just as you see me do in this video. It is time for us to add our text. Select the type tool from the tool panel, and type your food slogan. In these design I will type we deliver delicious and healthy food, you can use the wording of your choice I am just showing you example. I will be using pop in font for these design. Change the size of the text to 15 point and also change the color to black. I think we should make the text more bigger let's set the size to 17 point, it think it look good now. Let's add the top navigator text. Select the type tool and type home. Duplicate the home text three time and change the text just as you see. Also set all the value size of the text to 5 point. Align the text as the top, by selecting all the text and from the top panel align the text just like these. Let's add the logo of the design, in these design I will the company name as the logo which is Fudo, select the type tool and type in the text, I will also put the value of the text size 10 point. And change the color to green color to mimic the foreground color of the design. You can use the color of your choice. Now let's add service and meal description, just below the slogan, select the type tool and type in your description, but in these design I will use default text to fill in the service and description wording. Set the text size value to 5 point, also note that you can use the wording of your choice I am just showing you example here. Let's add text placeholder shape. Select the rectangle tool and right click on the foreground background of the design and from the pop out menu set these value, width 200 pixels, height 60 pixel, and make the corner radius 15 pixel then and hit ok to create the text placeholder shape and place it below the service and description text. Just as you see. Also let's make another text placeholder shape. By selecting the rectangle tool and right click on the foreground background of the design and from the pop out menu set these value, width 125 pixels, height 45 pixel, and make the corner radius 15 pixel then and hit ok to create the text placeholder shape, move it to the top right corner of the UI design shape just as you see me do and align it to the text in the same level. Let's zoom and see the design so far. I think everything look good and cool. Now let's add the text to the two placeholder shape that we have create. For the first one, select the type tool and type contact. And place it at the top of our text placeholder just as you see me do in these video, it look good to me. I think we should change the text to lowercase letter. Then for the second text placeholder let's select the type tool and type book a table, you can use the wording of your choice. After change the text color to white and place it at the top of the second placeholder below the service and description text of these design. We are coming to the end of our design, 
let's make some little adjustment to the design wherever needed and necessary, these is optional but for a smooth and clear design I think we should do all the necessary adjustment just as you see me do. I think we should make the green leaf a bit dark and by adding brightness and contrast and to do these. Go to the top panel of Photoshop and select image and from the drop down menu select adjustment, then click on the brightness and contrast and from the pop out menu fill in the value as you see in these video. I think we forget to add the login text. Now select one of the top navigator text and duplicate it and rename it login, move it to the top right hand of the UI design just as you see me do. Place it in between the words and the icon. Still making some other adjustment. We need to make the service description text a bit lighter black, just do what you see me to, like I always said I am just showing you example, these is also optional. Finally we need to group all the layers accordingly. Select all the layer shapes and the vegetable leaves and group them and rename them vegetables. Also select all the text and group them and rename them text. Our design is done. Thanks for watching, if you have not yet subscribed to these channel I advise that you do so for more videos like these, and also don't forget to like, share, and leave us a comment. See you on my next video.